Hello, today we're talking wet stacking and how does it happen? So wet stacking can happen for a few different reasons. One of the main reasons that wet stacking occurs is when you run your engine below its designated operating temperature. So for example, manufacturers always recommend to run an engine between 80 and 95% of its rated load. It is recommended in general that you run 50% or more of the rating plate of the engine to prevent things such as wet stacking. For example, if we had an 100 kW generator, ideally we would run it at about 80 kilowatt or more. Um, if longer periods of time, if we have a situation where we need to run it below its 50% rating, we might incur minor wet stacking for longer durations that may increase. Now, the other issue that can cause wet stacking is insufficient ratio from air to fuel into the engine. So those two items may cause wet stacking. Those are the main two items that you want to go and look into first. First of all, as I mentioned before, you're running your engine at less than its prime rated capacity, less than 80% of its rated plate. A second reason is you might have not used your generator for a long time. It was sitting on the side, sitting outside, inside, it carried some moisture inside. When you go to turn it on, you notice it sputters a little bit, or you notice extra smoke coming out. Um, you might get a derate mode or a derate fault. That might cause, that might be an issue that's causing that. Um, another issue is not having correct air to fuel ratio uh, in your engine. That's something that we're going to get deeper into in our next video. Uh, which will discuss the pistons and the rings and compressions and all that stuff that can also lead to wet stacking. Uh, but those are some of the main reasons why wet stacking occurs. I wanted to refer to a previous video that we made about generator maintenance. And in that video, we discussed load banking. And load banking is important to prevent wet stacking in first place. And here is why. With a load bank, you are able to test your generator at at least 80% or more of its rated capacity, which is also the manufacturer's recommended capacity for your generator. Anytime you run a generator at 80% or below its rated plate, you are risking running your generator at longer periods of time and not allowing the engine to get up to its rated temperature. Now, when we're not allowing the engine to get up to its rated temperature, what happens is all of the unused fuel and all the moisture and carbon particles end up at the exhaust side of the generator, which can then eventually lead to an engine derate or other faults to come up which will prevent the engine from functioning properly. Wet stacking can get interesting with tier four and tier four final generators. If you own a tier four or tier four final generator, wet stacking is a term you become very familiar with. Manufacturers typically recommend to run these type of generators at at least 85 or 90% rating of the nameplate of the generator. The reason is tier four generators and tier four final generators require the engine to run at hotter temperatures for longer periods of time to prevent wet stacking. Now, a cool thing that we can do with tier four and tier four final generators, most of the time, the manufacturers will give you an option to do what's called a regeneration. Now, a simple way to think about it is to think about it just like your self-clean option in your oven. It allows your generator to run at idle speed and the engine to get the muffler really, really hot to burn all the soot and excess that was deposited in there and was not burnt during your last load, which caused you the wet stack in the beginning. 